very elegant and pleasurable. That's the Lincoln Town Car. The four-door sedan is designed to satisfy fully even the most discriminating drivers in terms of exterior styling and spacious interior. The sedan has a 400 cubic inch displacement engine, a cavernous carpeted luggage compartment, a full six passengers can enjoy the seating services with a unique loose pillow appearance. A complement of standard power features and conveniences abound, including automatic temperature control, air conditioning, fold down front and rear center armrests, and front comfort lounge seats with six way power and the added feature that the passenger side reclines. All these marks of quality, prestige, and luxury you've come to expect from Lincoln. But that's not all Skag and Vision. Okay, uh, a little walk around and everybody, the first question that everybody wants, how did you do your suicide doors? And I'm going to try this to make this um, as comprehensible as possible. How about that? I used to be a teacher. I didn't. I was an instructor in the Marine Corps. Anyway, that's another story. Um, welcome. The details. As you know, a regular car opens from this end. Uh, but basically, the hinges were removed from... The hinges were removed from this side of the door. And the striker, which is this piece here, was actually moved from this side and placed over here. The two hinges were deleted and as you can see in this area here and let me back up so you can kind of get a view there's no place to put two hinges so my buddy Kahan Paul at Mad Creations he said not nah, you know I got a solution and this is a custom design hinge by him and um, the arm itself is aluminum it has um, a steel frame and he cut that out and welded a pocket in behind it and welded reinforcements in behind this panel and then it's bolted in and where the pivot arm goes into the door it actually comes into I want to say right about here so that door is not going anywhere and it supports the weight of the door and this is a steel door on this side he moved the door latches from the other side of the door to the front in doing that when i put the car back together i had to modify the door panel because now you have a striker going in here in order to latch, latch the door and the bonus that he did for me is he put an umbrella holder. And I got the umbrella, added the uh, Lincoln lo um, emblem, which is really a keychain, and it sits in there. And the door closes sweetly. He did a great job. As far as the rest of the stuff, let's take a look the interior is recovered in leather by a local shop we had a new carpet and new floor mats pull the old am fm radio out it wasn't even stereo and i put in a double den pioneer 
replaced all the speakers and um, new vinyl on the um, window switches all the way around polished the door seals and all this is just little details that I did um, all the interior lighting is now LED which I think gives it a sharper look and it's bright at night As far as the exterior, like I mentioned before, the car was gray, and I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, it went from a gray to a Ford Tuxedo Black. I have Detroit steel wheels, and they are powder coated maroon with flake. Diamond back tires, they're 20, the wheels are 20 by eight, eight and a half. Uh, this car did not come with fender skirts. I actually uh, found these in a pull apart, and I think they were on a 76 or 77 Continental. So I pulled those off, and they actually had a, uh, a trim strip that went across there. So got rid of that to keep a slick look. And there's Shop Dog. <laughs> Coming up, we got rid of the um, vinyl top and just a slick top, which I think looks good. We're going around to the trunk. Um, and here I can show you the original paint. Now, everything that was inside was painted that would be seen, however. I'll go behind here and that's the original gray paint. Like I said, I got my tunes. Um, Sony Explode, it's uh, I think that's an 800 watt four channel. And this is a 15 100 watt two channel but it's bridged out to uh, to one channel to run my sub and that's a Dayton audio I can't remember the capacity but I think it's a thousand watt sub and that's really all I need it it pretty much rattles this car goes on for days okay and under the hood it is bone stock this is a Ford 400M and it runs great the only thing that I've had to do is replace the air condition compressor the air conditioning was working when I first got it, and just last year is when it decided it wanted to start leaking Freon, so had to replace that. Um, and the only other thing that I did, I put in a bigger amp alternator to uh, handle the stereo. Otherwise, it's stock. But that carburetor's going away because I'm doing fuel injection. It's not this year. Maybe after near Christmas, somewhere in there. As far as the exterior lighting, what I've done is replace the headlights with LED projection headlights. 
and they are halos. And not only are they halos, they're switchbacks, which means that they go from white to amber. And I have switchback LEDs in the front turn signals. So during the park, when you have the park lights on, they're white. Uh, but once you turn, once you uh, hit the uh, turn signal, they go to amber. And me being a low voltage contractor and an electronic wizard, it's all relay magic, logic relays that, that help me to do that. Um, and if I turn the headlights on, you'll see the projector headlights. And it gives you a nice beam down the road. And that's how they look until they close. Until they close. Well, the covers work on a vacuum, and if you don't have the car running, <laughs> you not only wind up with a sleepy eye, but it's what I like to call a blinking. And that's the I don't GAF look, because she's so bad. On each side, you have the running lights. You have amber in the front. And uh, one of the unique features of the Lincoln was it was a it's called a cornering light so when you turn the turn signal on to turn this light here lights up and um, it illuminates where you're turning and so once you're done with your turn and, and the turn signals off it goes out Moving farther back. We have the coach lights. And they have LEDs. And walk around shop dog. She's forever vigilant. And these are the LEDs in the rear. Now this area here is normally just a reflector and they aren't illuminated at all however like i said it's a big dead spot at night so all you have going down the road is just the two tail lights but i thought it was a nice touch to fill it in one of the other features that was available in the lincoln continental continental town car edition was a factory CB. This one actually still works. Uh, you can select your channel. You can have it to scan your channel down, channel up. And it actually works. And the uh, retractable antenna in the rear doubles as the CB antenna. Pretty cool. When you turn the volume on, the uh, originally the volume comes out of the speakers, but I had to rewire that so it would come out of the new speakers that um, that I installed. One other neat thing that I did, because when I got this car was, you know, almost 10 years ago, uh, my kids who were small then. Instead of the cigarette lighter, I installed chargers so they could have their devices, their tablets. So on long road trips, they'd have a place to plug in. And this is it.